here is the relationship. And normally, it should say that it is a one-to-many relationship up at the top. So normally, there's a, a little line up here that says actual relationship, one-to-many. And it doesn't seem to have picked that up. Um, so I don't know whether that's a, a, where that issue came from. But yeah, it is that's missing um, a line. There is it is missing that. a line that should that should say that its true relationship is a one to many. It always creates this table that says it's a many mm -hmm. to many, um, but it should. I'll show you another example. It should say that true relationship type, and it should say one-to-many, or many-to-one. So one-to-many, I guess, is always what it says. So that should have something in there that tells it what its true relationship is. It always does many-to-many -many here, but usually it has a true relationship type at the top. Yeah, I may I may run into similar, because my, my sugar version is 622. So right. it's quite possible that something they may have fixed or flown in for later versions. Um, another question is, it, uh, that's the place to correct it, right? Created in the manifest before doing the upload. Um, like that would be, or is, is it on a site that you can't access? Oh, no, I got, I've got complete access. Then the, you, you, know, could, you could fix it afterwards. So, um, yeah, so this is where you would say, and then re-zip it up and reinstall it. Or you would just fix it on the file system. <clears throat> okay, right. So, oh, all right. That, that wherever you install now. sugar. So you don't have to actually I... reinstall it. You could just fix it in the file and do a repair and rebuild, and it will recognize it. Right. So and it actually puts it, it, it puts it in the directory custom metadata. So if okay. I were to go to my uh, server, um, So there's the file. So I would just edit it in here. Demo issue leaves. And I would just put it in there. And do a yeah, return rebuild. Demo issue leads metadata. Okay. I'm assuming that I spelled it correctly. Oh, it's true relation to type. Yeah, because one thing, I, another thing I noticed is that once the relationship is is in there, from the you know, from the install and, you know, putting everything else together and, and after the rebuild, you can't delete it. If it wasn't created, that is sugar, correct. You can't, but, yeah, you can't delete it and start over. That is correct. You cannot delete it. You have to, the only way to delete it is to manually delete it. There are many files that were installed, so deleting it re involves removing a bunch of different files. And now it says it's one commit. Okay, so when you when you create the relationship in let's say module A to module B, uh, a similar relationship will be created uh, in module B, pointing back to module A. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So this one is. And leads, if leads is one to many to, to the demo issue, um, if I go to demo issue and look at it, it also shows all of its relationships, which basically sh shows you the same information. Leads one to many to this, to this module. Okay, good. 
So it shows the relationship on both sides. Excellent. All right. Well, I think I think I've got what I need to hit the ground running and get this thing um, working better. The, the mistake I made yesterday was not install. You know, I, I I did a dump of the customizations, but I had no idea how to install it. I, I didn't know if I'd be replacing what was there or appending to it, letting the customizations get applied. Which now, after this WebEx, I realized that that was what I should have done. Right. So the first thing, if I looked at when I first deployed um, the first package, which I came out of Module Builder, it actually copied the code for the most part into the modules directory. So it actually created a a file called demo issue the mo into the modules directory, and it told Sugar in the custom directory how to recognize that the demo issue is now in effect. And then when I applied the second package, I put everything else into the custom modules directory. So it actually applied my changes here. So those are the customizations that Studio adds on top of an existing module. Very good, very good. Okay. All right. I, well, I, then I, I am going to end the recording, and then you can. Keep yeah, talking. I just had one one last question for the. Uh, well, you can end the recording if you like, but I, I do have one last question for you.